The following is a selected video from VideoMathTeacher.com, where you can explore over 10,000 videos, print out practice worksheets, find proofs and discussions on many math topics, and explore related videos. Try VideoMathTeacher.com today. Let's solve the following differential equation. We're given y prime plus 2y equals 4x. To solve this first order linear differential equation, we'll compare this to a general equation which would be of the form y prime plus some function p of x times y equals some function q of x. To solve this type of equation, we'll multiply it by both sides by an integrating factor, which we'll label as i dot f. This integrating factor is found by the formula e raised to the integral of p of x dx. Comparing our equation to this general equation, we see that p of x must equal 2. So, since p of x equals 2, plugging this into our integrating factor, we would have e raised to the integral of 2 times dx. Integrating 2 dx becomes e raised to the 2x. So our integrating factor will be e raised to the 2x. So let's multiply both sides of our differential equation by this integrating factor. So we'll, we'll first write down the problem y prime plus 2y equals 4x and then multiply it both sides by e to the 2x. Distributing e to the 2x to each term, we get e to the 2x times y prime plus 2e to the 2x times y is equal to 4x times e to the 2x. By multiplying by our integrating factor, our left side now is the result of the product rule between the functions e to the 2x and of y. So we'll write this as e to the 2x times y that we're finding the derivative of is equal to 4x e to the 2x. To show that this is indeed the result, we'll find the derivative of the left side again to show that it will become e to the 2xy prime plus 2e to the 2xy. So the derivative of e to the 2x times y from the product rule would be the derivative of well our first function times the derivative of our second function which we'll write e to the 2x times the derivative of y, which we'll write as y prime, plus the derivative of e to the 2x, which would be itself, but from the chain rule we'd also multiply by the derivative of the power, which would produce a 2 times the other function y. We see that this result is exactly e to the 2x y prime plus 2e to the 2x times y is equal to our right side. So the product rule is produced here to produce our previous line. Next, we'll integrate both sides to cancel out the derivative. In finding this, we get that the integral and the derivative on the left cancel e to the 2x times y. On the right side, we have the integral of 4x e to the 2x dx now. To integrate this, we'll need to use integration by parts. So let's copy our right side and work on this right side separately to find an antiderivative for this and then once we find the result we'll replace it in this stage of our equation. So to integrate by parts we need to select from our expression 4x e to the 2x dx part of this to be a u and the rest of it will be a dv. The dv will contain the dx. For us to find this result, we'll use u to be 4x, and we'll let dv be the remainder, which would be e to the 2x. On the left side, we need to find du, so the derivative of 4x will become 4dx. And the antiderivative of e to the 2x, we can actually find on the right side. The antiderivative, or the integral of e to the 2x dx, if we use a separate u substitution, we'll let u equal 2x, then du, 
would become 2dx. And by dividing by 2, we get 1 half du is equal to dx. So if we let u equal 2x, then dx will become 1 half of a du. This will transform to the integral of e to the u times 1 half du, which, since 1 half, one half is a constant, we'll bring this out front to write this as 1 half the integral of e to the u du. The integral of e to the u du is e to the u. Of course, we had a 1 half in front. Since u was 2x, the result of this antiderivative is 1 half e to the 2x. So, in finding from dv, we're finding v, the antiderivative of this will become 1 half e to the 2x. We're now ready to use integration by parts. Recall that the integration by parts formula is u times v minus the integral of v times du. So u was 4x times v was 1 half e to the 2x minus the integral of v, which is 1 half e to the 2x, du was 4 times dx. In both terms, 1 half times 4 becomes 2. So let's write our problem clearly again. Our result becomes 2x e to the 2x minus the integral of e to the 2x times 2 dx. Again, the 2 will come outside the integral, so this becomes 2x e to the 2x minus 2 times the integral of e to the 2x dx. We're now left with finding the integral of e to the 2x dx. However, we've done this work on the right, which results in 1 half e to the 2x. So this becomes 2x e to the 2x minus 2 times the quantity of 1 half e to the 2x. Again, the 2 cancels with 1 half, and we're left with the solution of 2x e to the 2x minus e to the 2x. This becomes the right side of our differential equation. So we'll copy and paste this result into our previous stage of the problem. So we're left with e to the 2x times y equals 2x e to the 2x minus e to the 2x plus some constant. Next, to solve this differential equation for y, we'll divide through by e to the 2x. In each case, the e to the 2x will cancel. And so we're left with that the e's to the 2x's throughout the problem will cancel, leaving y equals 2x minus 1 plus c over e to the 2x. In our last term, we'll use laws of negative exponents to write this as y equals 2x minus 1 plus c times e to the negative 2x. So this is the general solution of our differential equation. This is the solution to our differential equation. We can check our solution because if we plug this into our original differential equation and find its derivative, the left side should simplify to the right side. Let's demonstrate this. We'll take our original equation, y prime plus 2y equals 4x, and copy it. Next, we'll paste it to a fresh sheet of paper, and we'll take our solution y equals 2x minus 1 plus c times e to the negative 2x and copy this. We'll also paste it to our new sheet of paper so by pasting this we have our solution to this differential equation. To show that this is indeed a solution we'll find y prime of our solution and then plug in both y and y prime into the left side. So if y equals 2x minus 1 plus some constant c, e to the negative 2x, its derivative, y prime would be, the derivative of 2x is 2, the derivative of a constant minus 1 is 0, plus c times the derivative of e to the negative 2x will become itself, but from the chain rule, the derivative of negative 2x will become negative 2. 
So y prime really will be 2 minus 2c e to the negative 2x. Let's plug in both y prime and y into our differential equation. So y prime we have as 2 minus 2c e to the negative 2x plus 2 times y is 2x minus 1 plus c e to the negative 2x. Will this become the right side, which is simply 4x? Distributing the 2 in our second expression, we get 2 minus 2c e to the negative 2x plus, distributing the 2, we get 4x minus 2 plus 2c e to the negative 2x. Again, does this simplify to the right side of 4x? On the left side, we see terms canceling. For example, the 2 minus 2 cancels, and the minus 2c e to the negative 2x will cancel with positive 2c e to the negative 2x. We're left with, on the left side, that indeed we have only 4x, which is equal to the right side of 4x. This verifies that our solution of y equals 2x minus 1 plus c e to the negative 2x is indeed the solution to our differential equation, y prime plus 2y equals 4x. So, in conclusion, the solution to our differential equation is y equals 2x minus 1 plus c times e to the negative 2x.